You want to do a few other things at the time that you're incorporating. You, if you're going to raise money, and most startups do raise money, and this winds up being the biggest struggle um, most startups have, at least from a legal standpoint, you want to make sure that um, the shares that are being allocated out to management are just plain vanilla common shares. Investors who come along later can take preferred shares, but no one wants to invest in a company where there's a chance that the management can get their money out before they, the investor, can get their money out. So investors take, so management always takes at the very bottom of the equity stack. They take plain vanilla common shares. Other investors may take common shares, that's fine, but um, uh, management always gets common shares. Uh, the second thing you want to do is make sure that management is taking shares and investors are being offered shares in the company that has the business and the assets. Sometimes you see, especially software-based businesses, where all the intellectual property is in a separate company that's owned by um, one of the founders or a couple of the founders, and everyone's being asked, and there's a license agreement, everyone's being asked to invest in the business that has the license agreement and not the intellectual property. You're very limited in your ability to raise money from sophisticated investors using that structure. Most investors want to own a piece of the company that actually has all of the assets, including the intellectual property. So when you allocate the shares, it's better just to start with one company and everyone starts taking pieces of the company that has, has everything in it.